Today, Holy Mother Church celebrates the Feast of Agnes, Virgin and Martyr. Agnes was born to noble parents in the latter part of the third century, or perhaps the beginning of the fourth. For her refusal to marry a pagan suitor, Agnes was subjected to torture and eventually martyred. Agnes is considered to be a double martyr, a martyr to chastity and modesty, and a martyr to her fidelity to Christ, her beloved bridegroom. Agnes had a foster sister, Saint Emerenciana, and two days after the martyrdom of Agnes, Emerenciana went to the tomb of Agnes to mourn the loss of her best friend. There she encountered a group of pagans, and she declared herself to be a Christian, though she was only a catechumen, and she ridiculed them for their belief and for the way that Agnes had been treated. The pagans stoned her to death. Saint Emerenciana received what we call baptism of blood, and she is commemorated on January 23rd. Saint Agnes enjoys a second feast day, January 28th. This commemorates the time that the parents of Agnes, mourning the loss of their daughter, visited her tomb, and there they received a vision of Agnes in glory. She was crowned and surrounded by virgins singing the praises of God, and a lamb was by her side. This lamb stood for Christ, her beloved bridegroom, and Agnes assured her parents that she no longer suffered, but reigned with Christ in glory. Agnes, whose name means pure, is one of the best loved and widely venerated saints of the early church. Her name is commemorated in the Roman canon, one of the most ancient Eucharistic prayers in the church. Along with Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Cecilia, and Anastasia. Saint Agnes, Virgin and Martyr, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.